metropolis. It's the little things that really change a city's vibe. The weather, gentrification, the alien invasion. Task Force X, stop sightseeing and see if you can kill everything in sight. Got it? Hate to say it, but Waller's right. We got work to do. How did you three get split off this time? Hey! Wasn't my fault we got lost! Ah, uh, this time? We should convene at the Daily Planet. It is a very central location. Still playing tour guide, Sharky. Love that. Yeah! Come on, y'all, focus! We're game seven, last quarter out here. I do not know what this means. It seems like it would be very high pressure and stressful. Yeah, you lost me there too, Floydy. Oh, aren't you supposed to be a Yank, Harles? Even I got the reference. Just don't get yourselves killed doing something basic. Well, you know Boomer, he's always basic. Oi! Wait! You're basic! See what I mean? Jetpacks, man! Just gotta do what I do best and land these shots. I ain't letting a little shield stop me. Just gotta use my jetpack to get around. prepared to hit my targets. Just switch up the guns, slow breath, and... Clean, as always. Okay, I got this, I, I got it. Just can't panic. Airborne, afterburner, breathe, kickstart. Easy. Yeah, no, it's definitely easy. have to be about accuracy, just efficiency.
I thought we were meeting up. Shark? Shark, you gotta be nearby. I am in a tunnel. It only has two exits despite its length. It seems highly inadvisable. Human architecture is fascinating. Again? Can't you just look at pictures later? The experience would not be the same, Floyd Laden. I would never ask you to simply look upon renderings of Atlantis. It must be experienced. I kind of prefer pictures, actually. Oh, -ho! you dead shot phobia! Nah, that ain't a phobia. Sharp drop. Momentum, gravity, and mass in destructive concert. <laughs> if only there were enemies here. That would be a splash. <laughs> oh, who's been teaching shark puns again? Maneuvering through the air has its advantages. Less land dweller refuse. Much less. <laughs> Much less resistance than water as well. Yep. Excellent. I hungered for more enemies. Control the flow from within their ranks. Sacrifices are greatly appreciated. I wanted some extra exercise. Hey, Shocky, you want some real architecture? I'll show you all the top brooding and cackling spots in Gotham. Oh, I already have a list, but I would love a true Gothamite's perspective. Quinn's got point on this one. Not many scenic views in my line of work. Can't get spotted. Floyd, mate, you ever taken a vacation that wasn't work? Shot. Where are Harley and Boomerang? Not with you. That's the problem. Boomer, check in. <sighs> ah, ah, what me? Yeah, see, I ah, had to fight off half of Brainiac's army. Yeah, all on my own. Yeah, me! So tell us all about that big fight just now. Yes, regale us with your tales of glorious combat. Yeah, well, uh... <laughs> you see, uh... Take your time, sweetie. Let the mental boomerang make it back. Chunk of them up ahead. At least, uh, 30. Gotta knock them around first to get rid of those shields.
Quick work for the captain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Reckon I can make that. Just got to put one speed force in front of the other. Boomerang, you seem uninjured despite your supposedly harrowing battles. Did you not see Harley? Uh, no, I didn't see her through all the, uh, bodies. Hey, House, where'd you disappear to? Ain't got yourself beat up, have ya? <laughs> Dead shots all. You ain't got no self-preservation, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you had to be there. <sighs> or alive. <sighs> Anywho, I'll be there in a Gotham minute. Are you puppeting the dead cones again? <laughs> that shit is creepy. Yeah, a little bit. But it's a balm on my soul in these trying times. Could be worse. I could be like Boomer. Oi! What's that supposed to mean? There is speculation that you may not bathe, but merely cleanse your weaponry. Mate, where my boomerangs go, I go. Including the showers, uh, the dunny, everything. Yeah, you're really not helping your case here. This is hell. I've died, and this is what my hell looks like. Whether it's makeup or hurtling at the ground, you gotta trust the process. Woo, is this a surprise party? Is that why you're hiding? Well, I got some surprises of my own. of momentum, honey. I do love a convenient point to hurl my body into the unknown. <laughs> Just like the junior gymnast finals. Swing, release, wait for back drone, swing again. Not like 
like the junior gymnast finals. Then stick that. <laughs> Now that we're finally all here, we can get oh, down to... almost forgot. There's a big honking group of baddies ready to descend on us like fresh meat at the buffet line. So, who's staying to play hero? Deadshot's combat lessons will aid me greatly here. I am very glad I took notes. Precise timing will be key. shields modified. No automatic recharge. Every second you spend hiding behind cover is wasting my time. If you want to stay alive, you'll have to fight for it. That means harvesting shield charge from enemies in close combat. This enemy is ripe for harvest. Treats in the lobby. 
This daily planet was once a bastion of journalistic integrity. Now look at what's become of it. Journalism is one of the highest callings one can have. To inform others. To shed light on misdeeds. To gossip. Courtly gossip can mean the difference between life and death. Even in my home, the words of Lois Lane and Cat Grant are sacrosanct. I am honored to have been able to pass through this space. Though I am disappointed in the lack of treats. Focus, people. Those shark fights do sound pretty cool, though, big man. Move to the engagement zone, Task Force X.
My name is Amanda Waller. I am the director of Argus, a division of Homeland Security you've never even heard of. But we've heard of you. And I'm here to make you an offer. You're tenacious as junkyard dogs. Desperate. Hungry. You know how to survive. Now that might make you the kings and queens of Arkham, but outside these walls, the world's forgotten about you. And you're going to spend the rest of your lives picking maggots out of prison meatloaf. I could change that. I could be your way out. A chance to do some good. And if- Hey, Holly Quinn, Arkham Gazette. Just a quick question. What's with the frickin' shark? I, uh, would be happy to introduce myself. That won't be necessary, King Shark. This is a microbomb injector from our friends at Let's Corp. Stick it in your target's neck, and it's good night. You want this to be where you take your last breath? No? Then help me. I only need one of you. As for the other three, you are dead already. So, show me what you got. So, all right, sorry. So, makes sense Waller would want the world's deadliest assassin in her pocket. <laughs> I don't know what she wants the rest of you for. Knowing Amanda Waller, it is nothing good, in my experience. What the heck is your experience? And what's the fish doing in Arkham? You got mental health issues, Shark. Generalized anxiety, but I was brought here from my home. The ocean? Bell Rev Penitentiary. Can you all focus for one damn minute. This is clearly a trap. Any of us touch that thing, none of us is getting out of here. Ah, the prisoner's dilemma. What's the bloody dilemma? This prisoner wants out. Come on, Captain. You just got here. I've been inside five freaking years. Feels like I've been stuck in this conversation for five years. Can we please... Oh, so sorry, Deadshot. Are we interrupting your being strapped to a gurney? Isn't Deadshot supposed to be white? Aren't you supposed to be shutting your damn mouth? Kangaroo-looking ass. Because you are Australian. Okay, so are we gonna do the murder each other thing or what? Cause I'll be straight with you. I'd kill anyone to get out of here. I'd kill you. I'd kill myself. Nobody's killing anybody. If no one goes for the bomb, Waller comes back in here. See, she's not dealing with four screw-up psychos. We all get out. So then we do nothing. Excellent. I have grown quite skilled at... <laughs> Enjoy your nothing, idiots. Maybe you should have spent less time in brain class and more time learning how to pick locks. Because it looks like Captain Boomerang...
Welcome back. Who wins? No one. There are bombs in our heads. We are all losers. The shark's right. She played you all. You played yourselves. Welcome to Task Force X. Planning on picking up a bunch of liabilities in Arkham. Ah! Oh, God, there's something in my ear. Do one of you bastards inject something in my ear? In ear CIC comes. Bet we can hear your bullshit wherever we go now. You guys are making a girl miss solitary. Still, sure is nice to be out of Arkham. Thanks, douchebags. Well, we could have started a riot like normal people, but no! Everyone's a backstabber! It was a test. A mind game. I do not know if we passed or failed. Well, four exploding heads are better than one. Where are we going, and who are we killing? They geared us up to take on an army. Wait. Is that big dropkick driving the flame and train? I am not. I have never traveled by train before. Ah, oh, brilliant! <sighs> you jinxed it! This ride's like the Aussie. It's old and it stinks! Joke's on you, love. I'm not that old. Sharkman, pull that brake lever. big man what is it can you feel that feel what is is this a trick <sighs> old school guess miss off the books got something to tell us or she made us a mixtape Australian. Comms don't function that deep underground, so this tape will have to suffice. Here are your objectives. Here we go. Each of you has a C4 charge in your equipment. Use all of them to detonate the old station schedule wall. Go through. Get to the roof of the building you find. Establish comms with me. Way to micromanage, lady. Task Force X, these are your orders. Ignore them, split up, or piss me off in any way, and I pull the trigger on the micro-bombs you so helpfully implanted in one another's skulls. If you survive, we'll speak again. Waller out. I placed my explosive. Yeah. Try not to get blown up. Three, two, one! Is this some manner of man bat tunnel? 
We should keep heading up. I say we put many, many bullets in that junction box to make our way out. generation to the next looks pretty tough right <laughs> well it is man machine or monster nothing. i made my power ring look a little bigger for you because you know what it might be the strongest gadget in the whole hall of justice now i'm not talking your strongest superman but my imagination is my superpower using my power ring I could create all sorts of neat stuff to help me save the day. Once upon a time, I was an architect. Making my constructs is kind of the same thing, except they get built a lot faster. Despite what Flash may have told you, my cowls aren't just a fancy Halloween mask. They're equipped with augmented vision lenses, so I never miss a clue. And a comm link that lets me talk to my friends in the Justice League. Before I joined the League, I relied on these cowls to keep my identity top secret. Each one is lined with lead, so no one can peek under them. Not even Superman. Now I know what you're thinking. That big S on my chest can only stand for one thing, right? Well, not quite. Believe it or not, until I got to Earth, this wasn't an S at all. Remember how I told you... I'm from another planet. Well, on my world, this is my family crest. Greetings. Pretty I'm Wonder nice. Woman, but I you can call me by my real name, Diana. I was born on Themyscira, the crest, secret island so home of the Amazons. As this is the Watchtower, our satellite and space station that helps us, well, watch over this city and many others. We'll know if someone's plotting something. When you move as fast as I do, You've got to make sure your gear can keep up. My helmet is woven from a lightweight anti-friction material cooked up by the eggheads at Wayne Tech Labs. Built to withstand speed. Criminals can strike anywhere, anytime. And when they do, I need to be ready. Bat pods are my mobile preparedness units. A little like one of your backpacks. Hmm. A prideful display of the Justice League's riches. <clears throat> hey, man, watch the... Ah, shit! Glass. I'm okay. What the hell you got there? Thought this baby was a myth. Speed Force Gauntlet. Back when Doc Savannah tried to lift Flash's gimmick. <sighs> Myth you read.
around the Riddler's hat of invisibility! Where'd the shark go? Children. Ooh, nothing says international assassin like a frickin' jetpack. Shit, I'd break my damn neck. You're probably right. Jetpacks seem more like a death drug thing anyway. Mine. That, uh, hat's not gonna get you vertical, Shark. I can make my own way up. Well, tickle me stupid. Shark can fly! All right. New toys, lighted guns, Let's get up on that roof and get our freedom back. Ooh, let's try this stuff out. Never saw myself as a gadget girl, but when in Metropolis, yada yada. Don't touch anything that's gonna set off an alarm. I ain't fighting any supers for you. Ooh, got a real high opinion of yourself, don't ya? Professional gun guy. Nah, just a real low opinion of everyone else. You clowns are done messing around with gadgets. We ought to hit the roof and get Waller on the line. I got no problem making a wait. She can blow up our heads. Well, we better get going. I hate this. I hate this. Don't worry. I'm sure they got fire extinguishers. Reckon I could muscle this door open myself. But you might as well help. Ticket written all over it. Walla! 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 Ah, oh, right. Oi, Walla! What the hell have you sent us into? It's a bloody war zone out here. There's a giant skull in the sky. Congratulations, Task Force X. You're the first assets to make it into Metropolis alive. We're sending a signal transponder to your location. Your orders are to activate that transponder. Waller out. Give me one reason why we should go out into that shit show. The bombs, dumbass. Morbid curiosity. Ah! Waller is not offering us a choice. I'm ready to jump off the roof now.